we're back. What's up? I'm Toya from My Froggy Stuff, and we are having fun celebrating Briar's National Fun Day, a full day of crafting taking place on Briar's social media channels. We're talking fun, creativity, and of course, horses. Now that we've painted a few stable mates, let's make a diorama. A fun little scene where we can display our horses. So today, we are going to give this desk lamp a little makeover by making a small diorama that attaches to the bottom. In addition to the lamp, we will be using recycled cardboard, tissue paper, paint, and a paintbrush, coffee stirs, and greenery like moss and artificial plants. I start by taking a large piece of cardboard and placing it underneath the lamp. I decide where I want the lamp to go, trace around it, extend the line from the widest part to the edge, make a larger line around it, cut it out, trace it to make two, cut on the outside edge of the traced lamp base, place it on the copy, and sketch where the neck of the lamp is. I always give myself a little more room than what is needed, just to be safe. Cut on the line drawn, measure the height of the base. For me, that is one and a half inches. I cut a long strip of cardboard to that measurement, glue it onto the edge of the cardboard with the base cut out, add a few strips across the middle, I placed the cardboard around the cutout for the base, and then I made two lines on the side. Hopefully, we'll be able to use this for a little storage. Glue the other piece of cardboard on top to create the base for our diorama. Glue on more cardboard to build it up. I'm adding a tall piece around the cutout for the lamp. Then I added two pieces to the side to extend it. Then continue adding layers and layers and layers to make the foundation for our train. Tear pieces of tissue paper, apply glue to the cardboard, brush it to make a thin layer, then place the tissue paper on top and brush it down. Allow the paper to wrinkle to create texture. Cover the entire structure and allow it to dry. Then pick out a paint color. I'm going with brown and apply a thin base coat, covering up all the tissue paper. Allow it to dry, take a darker brown, swirl it around on the palette to remove some of the excess paint, then dry brush in the corners to help it stand out by adding a little shadow. Then dry brush on a lighter color by just brushing really lightly over everything I'm using a brownish-orange mixture to just create some awesome highlights. Making all those little wrinkles in the paper just pop. Once dried, take coffee stirs, cut them to about an inch and three quarters, glue them onto the edge, glue on more coffee stirs in the back to connect them to make a fence. Add a little greenery I'm using moss to make a rugged western terrain that is perfect for our stable mates. The desk lamp fits in the back, allowing us to shine a little light on the scene. And this is one of those lamps where you can move the neck so you can have more control over your lighting. So we can get the perfect picture every time. And don't forget, there's a little space in the back where we can fold poster board to make a piece that can fit inside, make two small cuts in the back, then bend it up and fold over the sides and glue them in place. Repeat on the other side to make a small tray, cut a small curve so we can place it underneath for a hidden drawer to store some of our horses and accessories when not in use creating the perfect little desktop diorama with removable lighting to display and store our stable mates. Thank you for joining us. It has been so much fun crafting with all of you today on Briar's National Fun Day. And we will see you next time.